Michael Chevello, along with my verbal sparring partner, the Hammer, Mark Castanini. A good evening from Sydney. And another KB4 brought to us by Lucy Tui Promotions, Hammer. Well, it's indeed, Michael, and what a card we're in for. All sorts of fighters fronting up for the KB4 here tonight. Be interesting to see who comes out on top of the big fellas. Scott Archer, Tama Tahuni, Lanui, all among the favourites here tonight. And having a talk about who's going to emerge, are a lot of people tipping a final between Scotty Archer and Tama Tahuna. Well, Tama Tahuna's had a big year. But uh, this man walking up now, Scotty Archer, he's in the box seat, one of the favourites. And it's going to be interesting to see how Scotty Archer goes. We are coming at you from Glove Marconi in Sydney. Home of the Marconi soccer team and a great venue for local kickboxing. And Lucy Tui has brought out some of the big names here tonight. Scott Archer making his way, a long walk to centre ring. The first of our KB4 fights. Our two semi-finals. And the winners of each will proceed into the KB4 final. We try speed this, the first. Okay, final instructions in centre ring. Listen, touch goes at the beginning of the first and the last round. Okay, if I say break, break, I want you to punch out of a clinch. Do your best if I say break, just break. Step back, don't punch. And like the event of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner, okay? Check yourself at all times. Good luck to you. The height and reach advantage going the way of Scotty Archer over Lanui. And we are ready to rock and roll. KB4, Lanui out of the red corner. Scott Archer out of the blue corner. Round one underway. Felicia Lanui, the black trunks with gold. Scott Archer, the green with the hammer's favourite colour of pink running down the side. Short right hand by Lanui trying to back Archer against the ropes early on. All our fights conducted with the sanctioning of the WKBF here tonight. And Lanui trying to get that round kick off to the rib cage. Scotty Archer, well having the height and reach advantage. He's going to want to keep Lanui at range. Using a push kick and long ranging uh, punching techniques. Good inside thigh kicks there from Scotty Archer. He is a southpaw, right foot forward, pops out that jab off the right hand, rib kick off the rear leg to the right rib cage of Lanui. Oh, slamming rib kick again from Archer. Lanui hasn't really got it downstairs with the kicks, but he's certainly got some power in his hands if he can connect upstairs. So far, he hasn't found the target. One minute, ten down, opening round. As we mentioned earlier, Scotty Archer, one of the real favourites here tonight, along with Tama Tahuna. As Lanui pounds break, away break. just under that left arm here, right. and referee separates both men. Well, on the inside, certainly Lanui's going to be very compact and very strong. Archer's going to want to be working in from range. Nice inside thigh kick from Archer. Lanui built like a, a tank. A referee separating both men into the final stages now of this first round. It's been a solid contest. Lanui still controlling centre ring, but not really doing enough with it. Inside thigh kick again from Archer, just above that left knee. And we go to the towels at the end of round one, Hammer. Well, a big clash of shins there to end the round. Lanui pushing forward, staying on the inside. Happy Nagranoa in his corner. Oh, Scotty Archer has the height and reach advantage. Probably hasn't done enough with it in the first round. Hey, did you have to sort this fight out here? You can't fight out long distance for this guy. He's taller than you. Once again, having a look at uh, two of these getting on the inside. Big overhand right. In close, he is a danger, and Scotty Archer is going to have to keep him at range. Archer there winding up the big rear round kick, having not a lot of effect. Last minute instructions here from Harpe Niranoa. 
Oh, the man who coached Mark Hunt to the immortality of the K1 World Grand Prix final in 2001. Of course, no longer training Mark Hunt and schooling a whole new generation here in Sydney. Harpe Naranoa, we touch gloves. Start of round two, popping jab from Archer. Well, certainly no shortage of big fellas in Sydney, Michael, to keep rolling them out on all the shows. Literally rolling them out. Some of them hammer. <laughs> Good rib kick from Archer gets clipped with the left hook. This is more like it from Felisa Lanui. Archer being tagged in the opening stage of this round, and again he's got to keep that right hand up. Lanui now starting to find the mark with some big haymakers. Well, Lanui on the inside with those big looping punches is very dangerous. I said it before, and Archer is going to have to work at range and not let Lanui push up on him. Lanui has to keep the momentum going forward now. He is in front so far, unofficially, of course, in this round. But he can't let Archer start to unload with those kicks, especially to the inside left thigh. That's where Archer's been catching him throughout the entire fight. Goes high off the right leg now, Archer. Lanui tries to come over the top. Well, the South Port, uh, the South, South Port, South Port, <laughs> been in Queensland one time too many. <laughs> the South Port Archer is not really using his rear, his rear leg to benefit. He want, wants to be throwing that uh, left round kick a lot more. Right, right. The referee steps in, separates both men. We are one and a half minutes down, 30 seconds remaining. High left round kick, rear leg there from Archer. Right hand just glanced the schnoggin. Lanui ties him up, and the ref will separate them again. Archer looking a little bit puffed here in the second round. So too is Lanui. Lanui has landed the cleaner shots with the hands. Archer's been dominating the kicking department. It could be a pretty even second round on the judges' scorecard. Well, nothing separating these two thus far. Both boys really need to step it up. Anyone can take this one. End of the second round, KB4, first semi-final. The winner will advance to the final. And the Hammer and I giving that one a 10-all, even round. When you finish with the hands, nice and tidy, bring the left kicker to the ribs. All right? And then stand there and watch his right hand. Take that eye. Okay. He's that tied. If you come forward tied. Don't forget, face, you can vote for your top 10 favourite bouts of all time as seen on Fox Sports, www.sportsblitz.net. And at the moment, Hammer, I believe Gurkhan Oskan versus Ian Jacobs is leading the official poll. That is absolutely polling. Like a house on fire, it's doing really well, that one, but some great fights to vote for. Sports Bliss, S-P-O-R-T-Z, B-L-I-T-Z dot, dot net is what you want to log on to. Cast your vote, and you'll be seeing the programming coming up with the top ten all-time epic battles, Michael. Jeez, Hammer, I was having a glance at it this morning on the net, and around about 280 votes already for Ozkan versus Jacobs. It's polling more than Tatiana Grigoreva. <laughs> Meanwhile, third round, this fight still anyone's Ooh. for the taking. And Lanui copying one a little bit below sea level. And he'll be auditioning for the Liverpool Boys Choir after that one, Lanui. <laughs> Is there such a thing? I'll start be one now. right here. He'll be their first soprano. <laughs> yeah, you're the right. The little Lanui's getting a shake up hammer. What the sort shaker. of Christmas gift you want? <laughs> Break out the ice. Mrs. Lanui won't be happy. Here we go. Continuing. Third round. As we said, still anyone's for the taking. Oh. Round kick. Left leg. High right round kick to the head from Archer. Lanui has to bridge the gap. He has to get in close and bang away at Archer's body. Lanui having a bit of trouble getting on the inside now. Archer starting to use his kicks a bit more. Archer getting a little busier. The first two rounds of this battle have been uh, somewhat lacklustre, but now they're picking it up. They know it's all down to this round. Scotty Archer storming forward. Lanui just smothering against the ropes. These KB4 tournaments really have become a very good breeding ground for a lot of up-and-coming heavyweights. And we may be seeing a future K1 fighter 
in the mould of Scotty Archer here in Centurion. He certainly has the build for a hammer. Well, Scotty, and he's a southpaw as well, which is going to confound a non-thinking fighter. Well, some oh, of the best K1 guys are southpaws. Labana and Filipovic and Musashi, the recent K1 runner-up. Definitely. Could Scotty Archer join the ranks one day? He's got a long way to go, but those round kicks certainly working a treat upstairs against a battered Lanui. Has Lanui got the pepper? Too no, little, too late. Too little, too late, Michael. All over, and I feel hammer that this one's going to go the way of Scotty Archer, care of those round kicks. Well, certainly Scotty Archer got busy in the last round, and that's all it took. And Scotty Archer will progress through. Lanui, bad luck to him. Didn't get on the inside enough. Got really tired there in the third round. Archer using the push kick, backing it up with hands and round kicks. Did really well. Finished strongly, and uh, he'll progress through. Nice head kick. Off the rear there from Archer. There you have it, folks. Scotty Archer, winner by a split decision. And he now moves through to the final of the KB4. Michael Chevella ringside with former Australian champion Mark the Hammer Castanini and Hammer the Loof making his way to centre ring. You're going to love the Loof. Well, it's been around forever. As he, as he walks into centre ring, I think he uh, recently just travelled up north to Darwin Town, take on a fighter I predict has got a big future ahead. He's been injured recently. Michael Seabird, the big ah. Darwin bomber, is certainly someone to look out for in, in the future. Just had a, uh, an operation, I think, on his ankle, Seabird, but uh, if he fires in 2004, he's going to be a real threat to the heavyweight ranks. And speaking of firing up, folks, here is a man who epitomises intensity. Kama Tahuna, the king of the KB4s, the first ever KB4 winner, and he is back to defend his crown. Tama Tahuna, a flower shop around his neck, and can he land something early on the loot? Well, Tama Tahuna, as he gets into centre ring, he also travelled up north and also fought Michael Seabert and was also defeated. So both of these men have been uh, statistics when it comes to stepping up against Seabert up there in Darwin. Charlie Loof, Sondoy Muay Thai Academy, and Tama Tahuna from the Bulldog Gym in Castle Hill with Stewie and Steve in the corner. I can't tell them apart, Hammer, don't ask me to. <laughs> The obvious height and reach advantage going the way of the much taller Tama Tahuna. Guys, at the end of the beginning of the first one, the last. You both know the rules. You better be knocked down. Go to the neutral corner away from my car. Don't punch out on the break, but I want you to punch in the break. Okay, when you're in the clinch, I want you to punch. Okay, and work out of it. Okay, touch gloves. Good luck to both. <laughs> Beautiful dubbing there. <laughs> you're right. We are ready to rock and roll. Round number one of three, the KB4. The Loof in the pink trunks. And Tama Tahuna. Inside thigh kick from the Loof. Another inside thigh kick. Ooh, right yeah, rib kick from Charlie Loof. I think I just like saying Loof. Loof. Hammer. <laughs> Loof. Sounds like something over the shower. <laughs> Loof. Outside thigh kick, a nice step across the outside oh. thigh kick from the loop. Both boys trading big kicks now. Tama Tahuna stings him a snappy left hand. Very quick boxer, Tama Tahuna. Those are the shots that he won the first ever game before with. Well, Tama Tahuna, a very explosive fighter in the hand department. When he gets going, the full head of steam, he really do you, barrages those punches Do you remember when he, when he beat the big no fear tumor fight, Tama Tahuna? Well, you're stretching my memory now. Actually, you weren't there that night. You were absent. It was a, it was a hammer absentee that well, night. I was in Thailand during that You were that, indeed. Uh, time, I think actually. myself and Andy, everybody loves Raymond, called that one. And Tama Tahuna and No Fear Tumafai, what a corker. Oh, oh the uppercut from Tama Tahuna. And the Loof wears them. <laughs> oh. Almost walk into the right hand to Huna. Couple of low kicks. But he fights back, Charlie Lufe. And again. He's taking a bit of punishment, Michael Luf. Well, the Luf taking more hits than a Pamela Anderson website in the first round. Well, Step up jab a... from Tahuna. I think you're going to have to update that to uh, Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Funniest home video, Trevor. <laughs> we won't get into that. Beautiful Ooh. emails going around. Oh, jumping front kick from Tahuna. Outside fire kick. Ooh. Oh, Luke getting airborne. <laughs> Who's launching the, the big Luke? Launches himself at Tahuna. <laughs> Continues to move forward and Tama Tahuna oh, he has thrown game. everything at him. End of the first round. Hammer. It is all Tama Tahuna, but you could have loved the heart uh, on the loof. Charlie Loof has uh, certainly showed a lot of heart. He wore some shot yeah. some solid headshots there from uh, Tama. The fourth back very, very bravely. Jumping round kick from the loof. And he can get himself mobile for a big fella. Very much like yourself on the dance floor, Michael. <laughs> we love the loof. <laughs> But uh, Tama having it all over the loop. Big bombing punches, I tell you what, the big overhand right from Tama, if it would have connected, it would have been a premature stoppage, this one. OK, we are ready to roll. Second round of action, last minute instructions from Steve or Stewie, Hammer? Stewie. Stewie. I knew that. Stewie McKinnon, here we go. Second round, Tama Tahuna, White Trunks, and Charlie Lou in the pink. A 10-9 round, Tahuna in the first. Inside thigh kick from the loop. Another okay. inside thigh kick from Luke. Ooh, and then he goes high off the real leg. And he gets his leg up nicely too. And for Luffy. a big fella. Inside thigh kick again, finding the mark just above the left knee of Tahuna. Straight right hand off the draw for Tahuna, looking for the big bok choy. Well, Tahuna really needs to back it up, throw threes and fours rather than one shots, and basically try and wear Charlie Lufe down. Overhand right from Tahuna. Have a look at the physique on Tahuna Hammer. He's got, he is ripped. He is, he's uh, More well muscles than a seafood buffet. <laughs> he's a well conditioned fighter, Tama Tahuna. Just needs to probably relax a bit more. But he's had a big year as well. Tama, he, he's looking to impress here tonight. He wants to go through. And Charlie Luff is not going to make his job easy. As once again he fights back, he gets bailed up in the corner. Charlie Luff, but he keeps coming back. Oh, a rib kick from Maloof off the right leg. One, two, then downstairs. That's better combination work from Tama Tahuna. We're into the final 45 seconds. A smacking leg kick from Tahuna. Luth continues to come forward. He won't take a backward step. Good outside thigh kick from Tahuna. Oh, he is slowly but systematically chopping out that lead leg of Charlie Luth. Well, Charlie Luth has got to start checking those leg kicks. He knows that Tam is going to attack that lead thigh and he's got to get the leg check happening. It's the second of our eliminators. Both men sucking in the air. Straight right hand from Luth. Left right outside thigh kick from Tahuna. And a nice exclamation mark at the end of round two. Well, Tama Tahuna finishing that round well, but uh, Charlie Lupe is certainly putting up a very brave battle and not making Tama's job easy at all. Once again, Tama not getting a chance to explode with the hand combos he did in the first round. Charlie keeping him at bay. And just a bit of a slip there off the kick. Last minute instructions for the loop. Seconds out. This is the third and final round. Third and final. We are ready to get it on. Tama Tahuna ahead on our unofficial scorecards. But it is still anyone's for the taking. Surprisingly quick for a big fella, Charlie Lufe. Michael, he really uh, gets his, his kicks out very, very crisp and, uh, and quickly. Surprising. Uh, the loop. Nice right hand. Oh. He rocks him. Tahuna's been caught, and here comes the loop. Tama Tahuna rallies back. They are going at it, hammer and top. Round kick from Loof, and then goes high off the right leg. And this crowd has come alive. Loof and Tahuna looking to take each other. on Tama Tahuna to rally back. He took three or four clear, unanswered headshots. Luf continues to attack the right rib cage. Tahuna pokes out the left hand. Outside thigh 
kick. What a Greg River final round. Charlie Loop and Tama Tahuna. Outside fire kick Tahuna. <laughs> Left rib cage from Loop and again, and just a slip on that crazy it, John's logo. Right. Next one, a point off from there. Well, Charlie Lufe getting a warning there for catching the round kick of Tama Tahuna. Tama going after the lead thigh of Charlie Lufe. Nice push away front kick there from, uh, from the Loop, Michael. Hammer of this round goes the distance and Luth keeps this up. We are going to have a close decision. A clash of leg kicks in centre ring. Oh, this crowd going absolutely off their bananas for these two fellas. Yes, I tell you what, nothing in this one. Very, very close battle indeed. Tamar may be scoring uh, more in the second round from uh, the unanswered thigh kicks that he uh, was throwing in the second. The third pretty much even. First even, third even, second probably to Tahuna. But Charlie uh, Loof really came on strong in the third. He knew he had to he had to put in a big round and he certainly did the big fella. Thank you, We love the Loof. Has he done enough to bring it home here, Hammer? Well, maybe extra just round enough. wouldn't go astray. Not at all. Big round of applause for Tama and Charlie. Will the Loof Hammer is soaking it up and so he <laughs> should be. What a performance. Was a unanimous one to go through to the final. Our winner, way of a blue corner. Well, unanimous decision to Tama Tahuna. I actually thought it was a bit closer than well, that, Hammer. So did I, Michael. That was a real close one. But Tama getting through. Yeah. One more time for me. This update brought to you by Tui's New. What mates do? Tonight on the latest edition of Fox Sports News, Steve Waugh turns the Boxing Day test into a battle of the minds. Six-time world surfing champ Lane Beachley has set a date to take on the blokes. Anthony Mundine knocks back a million plus dollars to fight Danny Green. And Reds utility back Julian Huxley wants to play fly half in next year's Super 12. Details on the late news. It's the Anderson twins. Mate, this is our big chance. You just gotta be our wingman. Hi. We'll shout you the ears. Wait. Dad, do you know Chris is a great dancer? Yeah, I know. No, I, I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> Two is new. What mates do? Inside Cricket with David Hooks and Alan Border. It's your gateway to the world of cricket. Exclusive Inside Cricket, Thursday night, 7.30, Fox Sports 2. You're not the same as the person next door. You might have less, you might have more. So when the time comes to insure, we've got plans for you. We've got plans for cars, big and small, household, farms, business and all. Your agent or broker knows the score. We've got plans for you. stars of international rugby in the toughest provincial competition in the world. Cricket has its own breeding ground. The Super 12 2004 season, live and exclusive to Fox Sports. Michael Chevello ringside with Mark the Hammer Castanini. We are set for our next contest here tonight between Daniel Collins and Cameron Wilson. Daniel Collins making...